Hey, welcome back to Legend Me TV, where legends go for music discussion, comedy, and more. And today we're back to review the B-Side Collection by Maroon 5. Yes, last time on Maroon 5 Reviews, we reviewed Maroon 5. It won't be soon before long. Today, we're going to be reviewing the B-Sides. The B-Side are seven additional recorded tracks that didn't make the final cut of Maroon 5's sophomore album. It won't be soon before long. By the way, I reviewed that album, so go ahead and check out my review after you're done with this one. But anyways, this collection is often forgotten by many, especially those who only know them for their hits or recent albums, which is kind of a shame because I feel like these songs definitely deserve at least a bit more attention which is what this video is for we're gonna shine a light on these songs first up we got story which begins with its electric guitars and then pulsating drums and it's actually a simple yet beautiful song Adam sounds really soulful and emotional it's actually a bit of a tearjerker in parts it combines a lot of the sounds of it won't be soon for long and songs about Jane creating a completely different beast of its own and that's just what makes it great. One of Maroon 5's best, in my opinion, right here. Next up, we have Miss You, Love You, which I'll admit really isn't that amazing. I mean, it's a decent song, but I just feel like it kind of lacks a strong melody or hook and feels one of the more forgettable tracks on here. I mean, it's kind of groovy, sure, I like that, but I don't know. It's not one that I could say I love as much as some of these others. Picking back on the upside of things though, we come to Until You're Over Me. With that catchy chorus containing the guitar sounds of songs like If I Never See Your Face Again, combining the textures of this cool piano melody too. It's a nice progression there I might add. The lyrics actually go a little bit deeper here about a relationship just gone so bad and just decimated so much that yeah, now it's over and having to deal with the aftermath of all of it. And yeah, it can actually be really tough. So yeah, it's a sad song, but something about it just is so catchy that it makes me happy for some reason. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Next up, we have Losing My Mind. And sadly, this is another one that I don't find quite as memorable as some of the other ones, but it's still an okay song. Adam is on point here vocally, and the tune is solid and it's well put together. I just can't say that it really stands out all that much. That's all, I would say. You know, this is all right. Thankfully, The Way I Was is definitely one that brings us back to the tune of great songs. This one has a strong hook, catchy progression, and such a great vocal performance that you can really feel Adam's hunger for this girl's love. And it's honestly truly beautiful if you're not thinking that he's just like incredibly horny. Because yeah, having a girl's love is actually a really great thing and it can truly make you feel a lot better about yourself and not needing to go back to the way you were when you were single, so. Yeah, I kind of feel him, you know? Overall, the song has some really touching instrumentation, and it's very well written. Definitely one of the best here. And next up, we have Figure It Out, which is a really different tune, but that's, in my opinion, what makes this one awesome. In the middle, the song really picks up with this really great guitar solo, which is probably one of the biggest moments Maroon 5 have ever rocked. Like what I said about the Kiwi guitar solo, this one also rocks pretty much, too, with more of a guitar-focused prominence instead of the drum-focused guitar solo on Kiwi. The lyrics, I will add, kind of sound like Shawn Mendes' Treat You Better to where a guy is trying to like persuade a girl to give up her current boyfriend and get with him instead. But thankfully Adam Levine sounds like he has a lot more swagger here and the song is just too catchy for me to hate it lyrically so yeah I love this one. And hey at least there's a lyric that he says I'm happy you want to break free so at least the feeling is mutual that yeah, the girl wants to get rid of her boyfriend, but just can't, and he's just like, well, figure it out and let's go, because I really want to be with you, and I know you like me better, so let's just do it, and I get it, so yeah, you know what, Adam, you're off the hook with that line, so yeah. And then Infatuation was a grower on me. I initially wasn't really that into this one, but in general, it got catchier and catchier as time went on. There is a bit of a good vocal hook on this song, and although the production isn't the best on the EP, it's still one of the catchiest vocal hooks here, and I don't know, instrumentally, it's just, it's good. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. And overall, that's Maroon 5's B-Side EP. Despite a couple of the songs being spotty instrumentally or just lacking something, I would still say this is a pretty well put together EP that really shows the mixings of Maroon 5 sounds throughout the beginning of their career. So yeah, in general, I'm thinking a 7 out of 10. Not really much here stands out as memorable as the stuff on their first two albums, and I do understand why these songs didn't make the album, but I still think they're just well put together songs that don't really receive enough attention. So, yeah, still a very good B-side collection, and definitely still check this out. Anyways, my name's Legend BTV. If you liked my review of Maroon 5's B-side collection, be sure to like it, share your thoughts below, subscribe to my channel, and I got a lot more coming. I got a lot of great stuff on this channel so far, and I got a lot of great stuff coming, some future stuff that you guys aren't even going to know about. 
So yeah, you know what it is. Hit that notification bell for Maroon 5's sake. And I'll see you guys next time.